just wonderful. Um, so yeah. Anyways, want to show you something. This is that fireproof insulation I made a while back. And this is the other side of it. Um, if you guys see, it's got a bunch of bubbles in it. And it's gotten pretty hard. Um, but still very fireproof. Um, I actually had this side on the flat of the wood, sto the, the wood stove here. And I could not feel anything on this side, which is pretty awesome. Now this is pretty dry. Now, like this is rock solid. So if I hit this with a hammer, it would shatter basically. So basically what I want to do is heat up this section now. And um, so I'm going to put that just on the top. It just has enough room to squeeze in between the brackets and everything, pretty much. And then I'll do a little fire here, I guess. Might as well. Um, I'll have to grab some lumber. But the tiny house is a complete disaster zone, as you can see. And most of the reason for that is you guys know that I'll be putting in some new windows soon. However, a lot of stuff's happened since those plans happened, especially all around the world. You guys should know about it, what I'm talking about, Charlie Victor. And uh, the reason I name it Charlie Victor or call it that um, is because the algorithms, you know, they just murder you if not. So I'm going to do a small fire um, just to warm things up a tad in here. Um, I got tons of cardboard actually, I gotta start using up. Good starting material. Now I got a bunch of little pieces in there. But, um, too bad about the rain catchment. Um, still, the leak up front here, guys, still a mystery. Um, not entirely sure what's going on with it. It's base, we had a lot of rain. And I should have at least a little bit of moisture in the bucket. I don't back there. It's uh, pretty odd, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. And uh, that's the way it is, I guess. So now, we have a bunch of lumber. I got a bunch of smaller pieces that I want to use up. Start getting into the bigger stuff later on. And uh, go from there. And I am working on, I tracked down somebody on, oh man, I love the Facebook marketplace on uh, Facebook there, guys. That's pretty amazing. Um, basically, I track, uh, there was a guy selling barrels and he actually is doing me a favor hunting around in his area for the exact barrel I'm looking for. Now, normally anybody under the sun can get barrels fairly inexpensively. I'm basically getting a brand new food grade barrel with um, removable lid that can be retightened back on, which is ideal. And I'm gonna be turning it into a barrel stove. I even told the guy what I was planning on doing and um, so far he's helping me out. Now he lives pretty far, he lives an hour away from me so for his time and I'm asking him to deliver as well I'm going to give him a hundred bucks. Now most of you are probably like oh my god Rob what are you doing? But around here I cannot find anything that I need for that. And so basically, 180 bucks later, plus all the work and crap I'm gonna put into it, I will have a brand new fireplace that I built. And you guys will see a ton of video on this. It's gonna be kind of a nice project for the off-grid tiny house. And the reason I'm doing it mostly, well, there's a few reasons. 
First off, I can't deadlift a fireplace six feet up into the tiny house. I don't know anybody who could. Um, maybe Schwarzenegger. I don't know. But um, Stallone, Schwarzenegger, maybe. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that is what's going on. And um, so first off is weight. Um, and the secondly, I'm going to be incorporating fireproof insulation in the build. What that will go around, you will see um, once I start making those videos up. Plus, it's going to give me a sweet project to do while Charlie Victor's going on. I can make it in the backyard, do all my testing, the burn-offs, the build, whole nine yards. And I can actually get my dad to help me as well because he's, he's going to want something to do during this as well. He's always, he's, he's kind of a go-getter. He likes to find stuff to do, which I don't blame him. Um, show you the fire. So I'm just building it up. Um, I think I gotta shut these lights off. My, uh, yeah, they're nonsense going on here. So hopefully we figure out what the hell's going on down here. Um, but other than that, yeah. So 13 volts, loads are back on. Sweet. Good to go. So all the electric mats are off now. And probably a good idea. I'm just going to reconnect the composting toilet vent. There we go. And I'm going to leave that fan running 24 7 till that battery dies. And then I got a ton of junk that I got to get rid of. This thing is the bane of my existence. One of the extra ceiling panels that I bought. It is always in the way in here. Plus my other lumber back here. Got to get rid of this crap. What is this box back here anyways? Oh, that's just an empty box. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, because of the other stuff. So, anyways, check out my fire. Oh yeah. Crispy, poply, going. So anyway, talking about the barrel stove, guys. Awesome, it's gonna be an awesome build project. Awesome videos, plus, if you guys haven't seen barrel stoves, um, they're pretty amazing. You can load so much lumber into them that it's ridiculous. Now, one thing I have to do is I have to get um, to make the door that came with it airtight. Um, I need to... You can, See how cool it is in here? Five degrees Celsius inside the tiny house right now. Um, so I keep getting sidetracked. <laughs> that damn clicking, I swear to God. I want to strangle the um, inventor. Um, anyways, you can load the barrel stove up fully and the thing would last you all night plus well into the next day damp down but the door that uh the, well i should actually do the unboxing to see if the door came with the um the air gasket which would make it lo a lot tighter so you don't f you're not giving the fire a lot of air and going through more lumber than you should be but there's going to be a lot of work to this project plus i got to save up then now to get new venting for this wood stove and you guys know fireplace venting is not cheap especially when I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna run it through the center of the tiny house guys past my ceiling area here so I don't have that nonsense 
and it's going to be about two feet back into the storage area so that wall is going to be going unfortunately still got to have you guys tell me about layouts and stuff um, you guys probably haven't seen that video yet my patrons have because they get everything early but what's going to happen is it's going to go back there I got to build a hearth DIY hearth for it it's going to be really low to the floor run my venting up and out I'm going to go as high as I can go and then turn horizontal and go out and up to a stack as close to the top as I can and then from there um, later on I can wrap copper tubing around the outside of the barrel and uh, hook into a make a, my own DIY hydroponics boiler setup which would be sweet so lot that it's all all these things are coming together I really thought about it and um, you know we're going from there I'll show you the fire it's really taken off now oh yeah love that love that love that Whew, stinks so holy shit I'm closing the door holy Christ that stinks Whew. That's that chemical crap I put in there. That's the, uh, let's take a walk away from that. Whew. That's the um, uh, alcohol. So anyways, this project's going to be nice. Now, I don't know when I'll be back to the tiny house unless we have to bug in over here bug out to the tiny house with my parents that's why I'm trying to get the water situation solved I really don't know what the hell happened over there the only thing I just changed was I plumbed in the new plumbing and I'll go outside and take a look and video that as well but right now this place is a junkyard basically and there's no way of us being able to move in here in case we had to so basically what's gonna happen now this is silicone guys fairly well except this part that I silicone is missing so when water pisses out of here it goes some of it will go back and go down which is not good there's the piece I silicone I put a heavy coat on on this fucking thing and it's still there's moisture in there that is not good Well, I don't know guys don't know what to tell you there is the other drain for the rain catchment system it's got moisture in there too uh, yeah I don't know not exactly sure what's going on but look at this my insulation got wet and it pissed out right there. Oh, gotta go.